Way too often, body parts fall into that category of out of sight, out of mind. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you shopped for product for your spleen care regimen? Lucky for us, there are innovators who are going far below our surface so that someday everyone can breathe a little bit easier. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. A successful organ transplant faces many challenges, including finding a suitable organ donor, as well as potential rejection of the donated organ by the recipient's immune system. But that could change over the next decade because two medical innovators spent 15 years working towards this, successfully growing a real, functioning human lung in a lab. I headed south to Galveston Island, Texas and the University of Texas Medical Branch to meet doctors Joan Nichols and Joaquin Cordiella, who first met at a lunch in 2001, where they brainstormed the potential science needed to grow a lung on a restaurant napkin. So basically, to make a lung in a lab, you start from making small pieces of lung tissue. If you can find a scaffold, a support structure, you can grow those little pieces of tissue on that support structure. The process of growing a new lung is like tearing down a house to its studs and frame, then rebuilding it with new materials. Joan and Joaquin tear down a discarded lung to its basic structure, then grow a new one by adding healthy lung cells. This is where mad science happens. What I'm going to show you to start with okay. is uh, production of a scaffold. This is a pig lung. It's been in here for a couple days. You can see the edges of it are white, and the rest of it is kind of pink. So this process that we do is what takes the cells and the blood out of that lung so that we can make this into a perfect scaffold. OK, so you're, you're at this point stripping. Stripping all of the cells, all of the blood away, but leaving the collagen and elastin structure. Dr. Cordiella showed me what a good scaffold looks like, demonstrating its strong elasticity by pumping air into it. The next step is to take stored lung and vascular cells and attach them to the scaffold foundation, which is done by pumping or pouring liquid containing the cellular material into a sealed chamber. This is like the equivalent of plant food. Yes. Like plant food, only it's cell food. This, what we're putting in, the factors support the cells for the lung, and it's specific to lung in this case. Through the period of time, end up going from a scaffold like this to a lung that looks like this. And that's human. That's a pediatric lung that we developed and produced. The time needed to attach cells and grow new tissue into a functioning lung is roughly 30 days. And even though a human lung has been grown, only a pig lung has been successfully transplanted into this happy guy named Harry. Harry's bioengineered lung and his normal lung look very similar. Not perfectly similar, but really similar. The ultimate goal is to successfully grow and transplant a human lung using a person's own cells, giving them a new organ custom made to work in their body. If we do this with adult cells and we can grow a small set of lungs for a pediatric patient, we prove the process. We could engineer lungs that match you. Yeah, no and rejection, so that no, no rejection. suppression. It's a big deal. It is a big deal when you think how this working lung grown in a lab began with two people doodling on a napkin.